Well, firefighters are hoping slightly cooler temperatures and diminishing winds will help in the battle against three major wildfires that have destroyed structures, closed a highway, and even forced evacuations. Fires are burning across the western U.S. and Canada, fueled by hot and dry weather. Dan Sheneman reports. From California to Canada, wildfires are sweeping across the west. The flames fueled by searing temperatures. Near Santa Barbara, the Whittier fire has devoured nearly 8,000 acres and burned a school to the ground. As of this morning, it's only 5% contained. A summer camp had to be evacuated because of fire. Last night, campers were reunited with their relieved parents. Meanwhile, the Alamo fire is so dangerous, crews have been forced to fight the flames from the air. We're hoping that the aircraft has a good effect on the fire and we can you know, get what, what that does is it enables our crews to get in and make a direct attack on the fire line. Further north, firefighters are battling the 2700 acre wall fire near Sacramento. Evacuations have been ordered. Six people have been injured in the blaze and the flames destroyed at least 10 structures. We're doing our best to get our upper hand on it, but we have a lot to contend with with the weather and uh, uh, the fuels that are out there are very dry, so a long road ahead of us. North of the border, nearly 200 fires are burning in British Columbia. The three largest fires forced thousands of people to flee. While firefighters struggled to contain the blazes, there was a break in the gloom near Santa Barbara, a rainbow above the smoke and flames. Dan Shenneman, NBC News.